Hi, Maggie Harding here today to share with you a little surprise mini album that I've made with Graphic 45's Cityscapes collection. I've used a lot of the new staples. I've used one of the little doorknobs and door plates on the back here. I think those are so cute. I've used the uh, square policy envelopes. These are new. They come in red, cream, and black. And I've used some of the uh, new tags. I've used the craft ones. So um, I've just used the uh, envelopes to make my pages. I've used three of them to make these three pages. And I've used a tag here on the back. This is just a page I constructed from cardstock. And inside there's a little tag. So let's get started on making one. Let's make our binding system. So I've got a 12 by 12 sheet of black card stock here. And I'm going to cut this to five inches. Okay. Now you'll need a scoreboard for this next part. And what we're going to do is we're going to make something that looks like this. So your first score is at one and a half inches. Then your next one is at half inch at two. Then you want to score at three and a half and at five, five and a half, seven, eight and a half, nine, and ten and a half. Okay, then you just want to fold it up. These little half inch places are the, are the spine and this part right here is what we're going to be attaching our envelopes to. So when you're done, you've got a flap here, a piece for the spine, a second flap, spine, a third flap, spine, and, and a piece left. Okay. Now, to make our pages, we're going to use these policy envelopes that are new from Graphic 45. I just love these. These are so cool. So, I'm going to take, open up the flap, and you want to cut the left fold here, because this is going to slip inside there. So, okay. The way this is going to work is this is going to fit inside like so. And you'll have a little book here. So I'm using three envelopes. I might add a fourth, but for now I'm going to go with three. So just cut all of them on the left side of the envelope when the front's facing you. Now after you've cut the uh, edges on your envelopes, we're going to be inserting these, but not all the way back to the fold. So you, what you want to do is mark a quarter of an inch so you'll know where you're putting it. If you have a good eye, you might be able to skip this step, but I don't. So I'm going to mark it on each one. Okay, now I'm going to make my title, and I have here a piece of cardstock that's just a, not quite as wide as my letters. I'm going to put my letters on the cardstock. I just find it easier for me to get a nice looking title if I do it this way. I also like to put a little glue there because you know letters have a tendency to fall off. So 
So now we've got all our pieces together, we can assemble it. I don't want to cover up all of the envelope because honestly they're so pretty. I hate to uh, hate to do that. Okay, let's put another page together. Again, I'm using the square policy envelopes and I'm just gonna build some layers here. And I'm going to use this um, Crocodile Corner Chomper from We Are Memory Keepers. basic design there. Again, I'll probably embellish it a little more after I uh, get move on. And let's do one more here. Okay, now for this page, I'm also using policy envelope. I found that the best way to cut this, I've already slit this, but I don't like the way that looks. So you can take your scissors and trim just the slightest little bit off of it and it'll look much neater. Okay, again, I'm going to use my corner chomper. Okay, so now we've got the basic design for three of our envelopes. This one, this one, and this one. Okay, and then the last thing is, I've, is this page that I've made. I took a five and a quarter inch piece of black cardstock. Um, this way, it's five and a quarter. And then this way, it's 11 and folded it in half. And we're going to make a little pocket here. To make this, put score tape across the bottom. And then fold it. Then when we put it on our binding, you'll have a, a pocket here. So now I've cut a piece of paper from the six by six patterns, and this is three and a quarter by five and an eighth. And I'm going to adhere this to the left side. And then I have one of our tags. This one says celebrate. This is one of the new Staples tags. Love these. I've inked around the edge already. Okay, so there we have another page. Now we have the basic design for four pages. And it didn't take that long, so that's a good thing. Let's see, so we've got this one. This is gonna be the title. And I think this is gonna be the back. And then these four pages like so. And you can put tags inside, gift cards, movie tickets, 
travel tickets, whatever you want. This is a surprise album, so you're going to tuck a little surprise in each one of these. Now, I have found that sometimes these pull off, and if they do, you can just take a little brad and reattach them. That because uh, it's just not that much paper holding them, so a little, little brad works great. Okay, now it's time to put our binding together and put our pages in our book. So I've got some half inch um, score tape here, and I am putting that down the little places where we scored a half inch. Okay. This is going to go like this. Okay, so now you want to put these flaps together. And I'm just going to do use score tape to do that too. You could use glue, I think. I like to use both just because I'm like that. I like to be different. So now don't pull the one that's in the little small half inch area off. Leave, leave that intact. And the secret here is you want to make sure this is put together really well. Okay, so there's one. Then you got to put the next one together. Okay, when you're done, you should have something that looks like this. One, two, three, four. The last one is just a single thickness of chip uh, cardstock, whereas these two are double thicknesses. Okay, now. Your back should be one and a half inches by Five. Going to put this here. So now you can remove this. I didn't cut that very well, I see. Nope, that's all right. We're going to cover this. Now I'm going to use some Graphic 45 washi tape. And I'm going to cut the end off only because the end is not very sticky. to lay it down on that quarter inch line like so and I'm just going to let it overlap okay let's put our score tape on I'm going to put it on just one side of the flaps here This will go in like so, and then you want to put score tape here on the very edge of the, I've got score tape here, it doesn't need to be there, um, here, okay? Okay. 
And remember, you want to leave it a quarter of an inch off. And by just using a small quarter inch piece here, you still have most of the width of the envelope. And your tag will fit inside. Okay, so we want to do that for the other three, other two. So now we're left with this, and we've got this page, which when we put our score tape down here at the bottom, I put it a little bit too far, so you have to pull that loose because this has got to fit over this flap. Once again, I'm going to put score tape on the inside there, the narrow score tape. Okay. There we go. One off. And Okay, there we go. All right, works. Now we can close our flaps. And there we have a nice little book. That's cute. So this is a surprise book. You can tuck gift cards and things into each of your little pockets here. And I am going to do a little bit more embellishing on this. Probably need to add some flowers because everything I do has flowers on it. And uh, then I'll take some photographs and share the final product with you.